so guys welcome back to the chemistry group where today we will be doing explosions yes we'll be exploding stuff specifically these plastic bottles I am sorry but you have but you will have to ignore the background noises because I'm not in my room right now I'm actually on the rooftop because I don't want my room to explode so yeah let's get started so this bomb will be made from a plastic bottle and sodium hydroxide which can be used uh, sorry which can be obtained from drain cleaners and aluminum do not do this in pl uh, glass bottles because you don't want sh shrapnel of glass flying everywhere so we are doing this in plastic bottles so I just found this old bottle lying around now I'm going to fill it up with the sodium hydroxide then the water then put a few aluminum balls in it close the lid and hopefully be safe while it explodes sometimes it, go, it just goes poof rather than exploding let's see what happens so I filled the uh, bottle up with some water sorry this bottle is too dark for me to show you how much water I filled but it is near this way point you don't fill it up halfway just a little now I will cut some aluminum foil and convert it into any shape I want just so it can fit in here and set it aside we will need that as a trigger so the, uh, this reaction will generate hydrogen gas which will fill this bottle up oh where did it go sorry it fell yeah there it is which will fill this bottle up and make it explode so it will generate so much heat that this plastic will start to melt and you'll see that now all I have to do is put the drain cleaner inside it oh, if I can. yeah I'll just put roughly quite a lot of it I won't even measure it I just want it to explode and straight away because it contains some aluminum particles you will start to hear the you'll start to hear it fizz it will release hydrogen gas and it will get yeah it's getting hot so now I need to cap it and let so now I'm going to put the aluminum pieces in okay let's just take this one too and quickly cap it up shake it and put it over here let me just move back so this will take about 30 seconds to start so as you can already see the bottom is bulging out that means it is producing hydrogen and the gas is expanding I'm not sure if you can tell or not but this bottle is actually expanding so this is a very very thick plastic and it can go off any time oh, plus I got some sodium hydroxide on my finger and it hurts not that much, it's uh, not that toxic, but it's corrosive. So I ended up having to add uh, quite a bit sodium hydroxide more and one more piece of aluminum. And it is starting to fizz. And oh, it's toppling over, I have to get away. <laughs> oh, it toppled over, oh, okay, it will explode. Just don't stand in front of the way it's facing because if it does not explode, just it will blow the cap away and the cap will be coming for your face. I'm actually quite scared right now because you don't know when it's going to blow. Just stay away from it. I'll actually set up the camera somewhere at a safe distance yeah I think right here is fine is it expanding? yes 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 it is expanding oh my god and it's almost night so it's actually oh god it's actually so hot that it is bulging out from one side 
ओके ओ शिट सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड रेन ओके नाउ आई हैव टू गो टेक अ बाथ बिकॉज आई डोंट वांट सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड ऑल ओवर मी सो दिस आ आ इट्स हॉट शिट सो दिस इज व्हाट हैपेंड टू द बॉटल इट बल्ज्ड आउट फ्रॉम द बैक एंड आई थिंक देयर इज अ होल समवेयर हियर हम so the cap did not blow off that's a good thing and my hands are actually shaking right now okay let's focus got the bottle deform and it's very hot so right there on the top where it deformed that's where the tiny hole is like right over here i don't know if you guys can see it but that was where the bottle failed that was the weakest point of the bottle guys we have time for one more bang before we go you just have to ignore the background sounds ignore them so i got the bottle for the sodium hydroxide i want to fill it up okay i put a ton of it so as you can see it's already bubbling It's starting to phase up. Now to add the aluminum, I'll keep it at a distance. Up. And then that way. Yep, there we go. Now I'll add this, and I'll cap it. Shake it, and let it go. Okay, it's gonna go. Now we have it. So I'm back in my room, and here's the aftermath. The bottom has been blown off, and the bottle is bloated. This was a really hard plastic, by the way. So by the analysis of two explosions. and three three more i tried this morning the bottom is actually the weakest point of any bottle i'll search on google why so yeah that's it so should i do it in a glass bottle comment yes or no and majority wins that's it for this video bye guys like subscribe